All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's just Professor Williams back, and I'm back with a 3.9% coupon municipal bond. Um, with 15 years left to maturity, with a price quote of 104.4, callable in eight years, with a premium of one year of coupon payments. I'm going to assume semi-annual payments um, and a par value of $5,000. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate current yield. And current yield is simply found by taking the coupon rate divided by the bond price. So I know that I have a 3.9% coupon rate. But I've got to take this price quote and convert it to a percentage. And the way that I'm going to convert it to a percentage is I'm going to take this 104.4. I'm going to divide it by 100. Just going to give me 1.0440%. Now I'm going to divide that 3.9 by 1.0440%. And when I do that math, I come out to like 3.73 and change, but I'm going to leave it at 3.73%. And I'm going to say that the current yield on this bond is 3.73%. The secret to this calculation is to take that 104, that price quote of 104.4, and right over here convert it to a percentage. So now let's take a look at yield to maturity. For yield to maturity, I've got to come up with some information so that I can come over here and use my time value of money keys on my BAT plus. So I need a value of N and I know that N is going to be 30 because I have 15 years with semi-annual payments. So N equals 30. I have to figure out what my present value of my bond is. Remember this is going to be a negative. So what I know is I had a par value of $5,000, but I had a price quote of 1.104.40, which I converted earlier to 1.044%. So the present value is going to be par value times the bond price. So 440 is going to give me a value of 5,220, and because that's present value, that's my negative. Now I've got to come up with a payment amount. All right. Remember, payment amount is calculated by par value times coupon rate, and so in this case I know that par value is $5,000 times 0 0.039, 3.9%, and if I take $5,000 times 0 0.039, I come up with a hundred and ninety-five dollars. However, then going to be divided by the number of payments. Because remember, I'm not going to get one big payment of 195. I'm going to divide it by two because they're semi annual payments. So my payment amount is now 97.50. So now I know my payment is 97.50. 
um, future value. Well, that's going to be what the bond is worth if it's in the future, which is always your par value. So now I know I have a par value equal to 5,000. And what I need to compute is I, Y, right? because it's either interest rate or yield. And in this case, I want yield to maturity. So I'm going to enter N equals 30, present value equals negative 5220, payment 9750, future value $5,000, and compute IY to get my yield to maturity. So coming over here to my BA2 plus calculator, I'm going to, of course, always clear my time value of money cleared all my keys, and now I'm going to enter N is 30. I said my present value was 5220, but remember that's a negative, so that's my present value. My payment was that coupon rate times par value divided by 2, so my payment was 97.50. The future value, remember, is going to be my par value in the future, so my future value, and now I want to compute IY or my yield to maturity. And what I get for my yield to maturity is 1.76%, but remember, that was calculated on a semi-annual payment. Since it was calculated on a semi-annual payment, in order to get what I need, is I have to take that 1.76 and I have to multiply it by 2. So now I know my yield to maturity is actually 3.52 so now I've got a current yield, a yield to maturity, and now I'm going to calculate taxable yield. Well, I know that taxable yield is calculated by yield to maturity divided by 1 minus a tax rate. Well, in this case, we're going to presume a 30% tax rate. So that becomes yield to maturity, which is going to be 3.52% divided by 70%, because 1 minus 30% is 70%. And what that gave me on my calculator was 0 0.05028, I think I'm running out of decimal places, 57. Right? We'll multiply that by 100 to convert it back into a percentage, and I get 5. 0.028, which I'm going to say is 5.03%. So now I know that the taxable yield on this bond is 5.03%. And that's basically just telling me, based on my tax bracket, it would be the equivalent of me getting a 5% yield on this bond when I take into consideration what my tax consequences are. Um, and then lastly, last but not least, is calculating yield to call. So let me grab my calculator. I'll be right back. All right. So calculating yield to call, I'm going to use my BA2+. Plus. The first thing I have to come up with is my value of N. Well, I have, I'm callable in eight years. 
and they're semi-annual payments. So it basically tells me that I'm going to lose 16 payments because under yield to call, N is um, the time to call times the number of payments that you get. We knew that the present value, we calculate a present value earlier based on this price quote. We said that that was a negative $5,220. Or we got that present value by taking our value times that 1.0440 to come up with the 52.20. We just remember where we got that number. Um, we calculated the payments before at 97.50. Remember, I got those by saying 5,000 times 0 .0390, which was my percentage, gave me $195. But they're semi-annual payments, so I divided them by 2, gave me 97.50 as my payment amount. So my payment. Um, now I have to figure out what my future value is. Right? Well, the future value says the call premium is one year of coupon payments. So that means is, yeah, I can call the bond in eight years, but I have to pay you something to make it worth that, and that's that call premium. One year of coupon payments is... Yep, you got it, this $195. So if they call the bond early, instead of the future value being $5,000, it's going to be $5,195, which is simply the par value plus that one year of coupon payment as the premium. And again, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to calculate a yield. So I'm going to compute my I. Y. Okay. So I'm going to plug in, remember this was the eight years times two payments a year gave me 16 payments. So hopefully we're, okay, and I'll just tell you, remember that that was the 5,000 plus the one year worth of our coupon payments, which was my premium. Right. So hopefully... Everybody has written down someplace where I got all of these cool numbers because now I'm going to calculate a world. All right, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to clear all my time value of money. Keys out a million times like I always do. I'm so paranoid about that. And, in fact, I'm going to bring this little guy over here a little bit more to the middle of the screen. And I'm going to start entering in what I just gave him. I'm going to enter in N as 16, which is the number of payments. Um, if we're going to call the bond in eight years, two payments a year, I'm going to put in my present value as that 5220. Remember to make it a negative, guys. Um, so that's my, oops, that's my 5220 present value. I calculated my payment to be the 97.50 with that semi-annual payment. I calculated my future value to be the $5,195, which was the face value or par value of the bond, plus one year's um, premium or coupon payments as call premium. And now I'm going to say compute. I want to compute I Y. What I get is 1.84. But remember, we based all of that on semi-annual, right? So that was only for half a year. So now I have to take that I, Y, I don't think this will let me do it, but maybe it will, multiply it by 2. And what I know now is my yield to call is 3.68%. So... Hopefully this makes things better. Um, I appreciate your patience with me, and I will see you guys around the corner.